Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix your motherboard or your PC. If you power it on and the fan everything turns on but you have no video output. So pretty much your screen just stays in blank and you don't see anything. And the problem with this is because some people don't buy the video card to install it on PCI Express. They just keep using the onboard chip and onboard chip right here. This is the one that is right here under this aluminum sheet, aluminum copper heatsink. This thing is not uh, well made. It's, it doesn't have a fan or there's no way that it can actually pull down just by the airflow of the box is not good enough to actually bring the temperature down. Uh, people put like a graphical interface, games, uh, architecture type programs and it stresses the hell out of the chip. Uh, for the same reason it starts overheating and the soldering balls which are under the chip it starts melting and they start disconnecting from the board. So right now we're gonna uh, actually we're gonna uh, take the board out of the box and we, I'm gonna show you step by step how to you know, fix it at home by yourself. First thing first, you wanna unplug all the cables from the hard drive, from the CD-ROM. Take all the SATA cables out. Just pull the SATA cables out. Put this. Put the, your USB cables out and your audio cable out too. Next, you want to remove your power supply cables. And after that, you do want to remove your front LEDs, power on switch, all of them. And unplug everything. Once everything is unplugged, we're going to start unscrewing the screws that are holding the board. Find my magnet. I use an automatic screwdriver. You guys can easily use a regular screwdriver. Because I do this all day long, so trust me. Doing this as long as I've been doing. You don't want to do anything manually anymore. Alright, there's only three back there. One is right at the front. And there should be one in the other corner too, so but this one doesn't have it. So once you remove those, grab your heat sink for the CPU, lift up and the Part that goes is facing the front of the case up and then pull 45 degrees towards yourself, towards the front of the case, and the whole thing comes out. Now you can put the case to the side and here you have your motherboard. Now let me pull it this way so the light hits. I gotta work in the light. Alright, so what? The next thing, remove the RAM. The RAM to the side, unplug your fan for the heatsink. Remove the lock for the heatsink. Lift it up. And then you have to. Loosen it up from that grip, same to the other side, and just wiggle it around, and it will come out. And the thermal paste on this one is really bad, so you gotta change that too. Next, you gotta put this lever there, grab this metal bar right there, and push it down and pull towards the chip right, slowly, and then lift it up. Right. Now that we're gonna lift it up, 
and then you're going to slowly pick up the CPU and put it to the side. You're going to clean that in a bit. Next, we're going to remove the heat sink from top of the GPU. In order to do that, there's two plastic things, whatever you want to call this, but it's holding the heat sink. It's right here. It's like a fish hook type, so you gotta press both of them, just pinch it like that, and then once you have it, always use that plier. Small pliers, you don't need lots of pressure, and then push it towards the board, and it will just go to the other side. Do the same thing. Uh, you don't want to stress it away with the plastic, you can easily break it. Just be careful. And watch the board, you don't want to damage the board. There we go. Right. Now, we need to remove this thing. And the, pla the thermal paste that they actually put on these chips is garbage. So next, what do you want to do? You want to grab the chip. You want to clean it with the alcohol. And you want to grab your heat gun. And you want to heat it up, heat up the chip for about two minutes. If you can measure the, the level of the heat, put it on 300 Celsius for about two minutes, two minutes, uh, or a minute and a half, and let it cool down in a room temperature for about five minutes. One thing you can use, you can use a hair dryer, keep it with a distance of uh, two centimeters distance, an inch from the chip, and put in a max heat and keep it there for about three to four minutes using your hair dryer. So I'm just gonna grab my heat gun, I'm gonna heat it up for about two minutes. And I'm gonna clean the plugs on top of, and clean the thermal paste, and clean the thermal paste in here, and I'll be just, I'll be back. All right. I cleaned up the heat sink, and I heated up the chip, and I cleaned up and I put some Arctic Silver Five on top of it. Now we wanna plug it in and test it out. Here I'm gonna put in the CPU. When you put the CPU in, make sure the arrow is pointed the same place on the board, it's painted white, triangle. Let's clean it up. All right, now that we clean the heat sink, we put the thermal paste on the GPU. Uh, for the CPU, I'm gonna use an MX. Yeah, I'm already, I finished my thermal paste. And then you wanna lock it down in the place, put the CPU on. Make sure the lock is in the plastic, the same place, and then just put the handle up, uh, 180 degrees to the other side, now it's in place. Put the cables for the fan, in the RAM, plug in the RAM. Now uh, you just gonna grab the heat sink and you wanna just put it on the board and you're just gonna push the white plastic with your finger and uh, they just go to the other side they automatically they just lock down in place. Now we're gonna test it out. In order to test it out, I'm gonna grab my power unit. 
and I'm gonna connect it this way and we want to find that 12 volt rail which is this one right there plug in the 12 volt now we're gonna plug in an VGA cable There we go. And we got that in place. We're going to put the power cable for the power supply. Now the on off switch led i mean power on it should be reset hard drive and i'm guessing the black ones are the power on the black ones so let's see so you guys gonna grab your screwdriver i find mine right there and then you're gonna just make a short connection in there it's gonna turn on now uh, let's make sure that we have output and uh, we are in business and it's working. You can see it but it's in the monitor my I don't know if you can reflect it in here, maybe. I don't know. It should be able to see it in here. Maybe. Now you can turn it off. You want to. And that's how you can fix your motherboard if it doesn't have a video signal going out. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope this video helped you guys out. If you liked it, thumbs up and uh, subscribe, it helps out. Thank you.